and we're here for the first game of the day. We are facing Throw, Metang, Mufalabi, Basculin, Manectric, and Palisand. We're also facing Chinese Poo, who is of course his Edge 2 leader, so that's kinda cool. Uh, Palisand is kind of annoying for my team, but I get to show off Porygon switching into Manectric, so that's kind of nice. I think I want to lead Rotom Frost and click Volt Switch, if I'm honest. Uh, he could switch in Manectric though. I could also click... I'm, I'm gonna lead... I'll lead Rotom Frost. Let's go with this. As he leads Manectric, I'm just clicking Blizzard. Oh, he might overheat. I think he's overheating here. Um... He switches into Basculin. Okay, that's fine. I trace adaptability. Uh, how much does he do to me anyway? That's Skelk. My Porygon set isn't in here, which is kind of bad. So I have to input it myself. I have 48 max HP. I have an Evulite. I get a Basculin, which is going to be this set. He might have Superpower. I have to consider that possibility. Which still won't kill me. I want just adaptability try attack to the uh, ability adaptability a lot. Damn. But that's not worth you going for. Let me get core guys. Core guys L. It's this. That takes zero from any of his moves. I'll just go for rest. As he goes into palace hand. Which I'm just gonna leech cheat. He can touch me, but not... Okay, he toxics. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, honestly. I think I go Rotom here. Just click Blizzard. As he goes with Tan. I'm tempted to trick. Would he go Manectric? He'll probably go Manectric here. I'm gonna Blizzard. Ah, oh, fuck. Should've tricked them. Is he Medium Ashes? That does good damage. Now I have to be careful. I'll go Primped up. Set up Bronx. Which is good. As he goes into his palace sand. Uh, I want a toxic. Thank you. Okay, getting the toxic off is the biggest fuck. And I'll get on my rocks too. As he switches into his Vullaby, which is absolutely free into my Rotom again. Manectric at this point cannot switch into Blizzard, I think. I'm gonna trick. I think this time I trick. Could go Manectric, but Manectric is free switch to Porygon, 100%. And he, tr I tricked him a time. Okay, that's good. That's very good. That's very good. Wow. As he Buddha punches, that's oh wow, that is free rocks if I've ever seen it. Jesus Christ, that's the freest rocks in the world. Because he's locked into Buddha punch now. Really cool. I'm going to toxic this Vullaby. That's cool. Uh, I could have gone into my Rodom again for free. I'm gonna set rocks again. See foul place. Now I force him to defog again, which means that my Rodom gets in again. And I'm holding an Evie Light right now, right? I am, okay. I'm a little blizzard. He goes into his Metang again. Now this is going to die. Okay, Metang is dead. So now he truly has no more switch ins to this. The Gorga is pretty free. And this is Water Ream Z. Okay, interesting. Now he definitely has to switch. I'm gonna lead sheet. As he just goes into his Vullaby. Which is getting really heavily worn down here. I think I'm gonna rotate up again. As I get some health back from the leech hit, which is nice. This Vullaby is so close to dead. I think he sacks this, honestly. Ah, Thunderbolt. Yeah, he does sack it. Okay, I didn't want to risk uh, Blizzard there. Gorgas is free into this, I think. I see Waterfalls again. Yeah, like, it's doing some damage and I'm getting worn down, but I'm just gonna leech it again. The ice beams. That damage. That's bad damage. Oh no. Uh, I'm. Can I get a. I can get a synthesis off on a resting throw, I guess. I'll, uh, 
I'll sack Primplo for now. No rocks, kinda sucks, but okay. Um, I think I go Psymion and click U-turn. Wait, is, is Pelicent slower than Gorgast? Oh, guys, I think so. Yeah, I am. So I can U-turn here with Psymion. If he stays in, I'll go Muck. I don't think he stays in, he doesn't want to risk this. I think he just goes Palisand, giving me a synthesis with Gorgast. Or a Blizzard with... Yes, okay. I can now choose what I want to do. I think I go Rotom and click Blizzard. I really don't think. Oh wait, this also means that the Manectric is 99% certainly choiced. I'm gonna Blizzard. And I found out what item this is, he's called very okay. Manectric doesn't take this very well <laughs> at all. Porygon is a free switch. Straight up free. As he clicks overheat, that does 22%. <laughs> oh. So good. This Pokemon is awesome. I think I'm gonna try attack. Uh, or I can. No, I'm gonna try attack. He goes Palo. Okay. Um, I'm going to Rotom on this. Is he toxic? Okay, like that's annoying but not terrible. Killing this is going to be big. He sacks Manectric. I miss. Damn it. That's annoying. That's really annoying. I just go for it again here. I see hidden powers. <laughs> again, no damage at all. I foul play this time. That's significant damage on Palace Hand. It's a cold berry. Okay, never mind the significant damage. Uh, this is gonna be all about Palace Hand going down and Sydney cleaning. I'm gonna foul play again. He shores up. Okay, yeah, I should have seen that one coming. To be quite honest. I go Rotom now. Click Blizzard again. He shores up. Uh, oh, Blizzard. Can he die now? Okay, he dies. That's good. As he goes Basculin, this this Rotom probably isn't worth keeping around. So I'll Volt Switch. Okay. Now I go Psymion. And I click U-turn. Right here. Again. This Palisand just needs to be very weak for me to win this game with Psymion. That's the goal right now. I can, I'm synthesizing on this. I have to. As he shores up. Okay, that's good for me, I think. Because now I can synthesize again. Having this back on full, or very near full. He does shit. Oh my god, that does too much. That. I'm gonna leech it then. Because I'm not winning this anyway. This Gorgas is useless at this point. Getting this thing weakened even more is, I guess, okay. I'm gonna start setting up with Mach now. This does, like, he does basically nothing with this uh, fellow. Um, I know what happens here. Oh, he walks up too. I thought he'd uh, circle throw me there. I'll curse up again. I'm really surprised he walked up and didn't circle throw. Like, this thing is so annoying. Throw is so fucking good right now. God damn. I, I, I'm scared of the circle throw, that's the only problem here. Yeah, he circle throws. Fuck. Okay. I go into Porygon. I guess I can at least Toxic. Force him to rest at some point. Give him a knock a bunch of free. Uh... Yeah, I had to sack it there. Yeah, throw is just kind of bullshit, honestly. I do not know if it's GG because he cannot touch this muck. At all. Last one muck does win. Think. He is sleep talk. Okay, well that's a bit annoying. But that means he absolutely can't touch Muck. When he can't shuffle it anymore, Muck might win. Now I simply have to poison jab, do damage to him. Before he circle throws me, which there I go. Uh, now I just have to do damage before my Pazimian goes down, basically. Minor damage, sure, but it's still damage. 
circle throws me. He doesn't kill me. Okay, I guess. Uh, I'll just poison jab. Get some damage off. Maybe a poison. Still no poison. Which is annoying. But again, he can't touch this muck. <gasps> oh my god. I'm Scarf. So I have to beat this thing. Oh, he has Aqua Jet. Okay. I just have to set up curses on this. Uh, I'm gonna rest. I don't lift that, do I? Damn it! Oh, that's actually a that crit sucks for me. I think I may have won otherwise. GG the way though. Okay, that's kind of annoying that crit because it meant that Mark couldn't do anything <laughs> to the Basculin, but okay, it's fine, right? Shit happens. Uh, thank you, Chinese, for the game, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. And we're back for the second game of this video. Uh, once again, people sleeping around me, so I'm talking quietly. We're facing Pawnyard, Rosilia, Grumpic, Mistrevious, Gabite, Rapidash. Uh, I don't have a flu at it. Um, I know where they built this team and I know where I could find it, but I'm not cheating and not gonna look at it. Uh, his team is pretty weak to, tr to Specs Rodom, I think. Now, it's quite likely he just leads for Celia, which I'd love to lead my Rotom on. Uh, on the other hand, it is kind of... I kind of want to lead Simeon and click U-turn immediately. He leads Rapidash. Okay, that's not that bad. I can U-turn out of this easily. I'm just go Print Club. Oh, actually, I can go Porygon. If he's Scarf, that gives me a lot of information really early. I might lose my Simeon for it, but that's fine. I would, of course, trace Flashfire if I were to go um, Porygon here, so I am immune to Flare Blitz, which would be nice. And would give me a free Toxic or something. Unless he would go Pawn, he, he actually quite likely to go Pawn in that situation, so... Probably not a free Toxic then. As he, I don't see the Flame Body, okay, that's good for now. As he... Widow is, that doesn't work. He has a Flash Fire, okay, that's cool. Now he's probably going Pawn Yard, um, which I just want to go Simeon on again. Uh, do I want to make... No, I'm not going to make the double so early. Uh, do I have a good... I don't really have a good switch into Ponyard, though. Mm. I'll go Psymion. I'm not seeing him staying in with this Rapidash. I take like zero from all of its attacks. Also, he is indeed Flashfire, which gives me free two turns on his entire team, except for Gabite, I guess. But if he goes Gabite at any point, I go Rotom and click uh, Trick, I think. As he doesn't go Ponyard, that's really good. Um, now I could go, I could just U-turn here again, get out of the Mist Reavers, go into Rodom and get to fire off a Blizzard. Let me calc how much I do. I think he's an offensive Mist Reavers this game, looking at his team. Blizzard does a lot. I'll go... I'll oh, U-turn. I see he doesn't go Mr. Rufus. That's great. Good. Now I can calc based on that damage what set he is. If he doesn't have every light. U-turn uh, did, did how much? 11%. Uh, that is definitely... Uh, that's a really defensive one. Wow. That... Okay. He, he could just toxic my Porygon, which I don't want. So I'll just go Rotom and click Trick. I think I trick here. Remove the 6 every line immediately. Sucks losing my specs so early, but it's fine. Nothing on his team wants his specs. He gives it to Gabite! Oh. I'll take that. Now I get the fire of a Volt with a Blizzard. So he goes Pawnyard. I. Sadly, that happens. I miss. I have Volt Switch here though. This is gonna do damage. That did damage! <laughs> Speaking of damage. Jesus. He knocks off. 
Kinda sucks losing that, but I'm just one of the rocks. Getting rocks up this game is pretty important. He has no hazard removal to speak of. He goes for Zelia. Now he's 99% certainly going to uh, to set his own, start setting up his own spikes. Uh, what do I do about that? I think I just <laughs> I now have an Evie like myself, so I can't trick it anymore. Uh, I can defog with this thing, of course. Later. I'll just go into my room. As he goes into his pawn yard, which I'm, this is actually perfect, honestly, because this gives me a volt switch. For free. Like actually, for free. I'll take that, gladly. Because if he goes Gabite, he was just dying to Blizzard next turn. He'd have to find a switch into Blizzard to turn after, which he doesn't really want. This point of being dead is important, so I'd be happy if it was gone. Then I just have to worry about the Roselia, and I want to say if that if I can kill that, that'd be perfect. He sucker punches, he sacks his spawner. Okay, that's good for me. Definitely is good for me. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for Simeon. Let him go into his Mistrevis. And just U turn into something again. I force him into Mistrevis here, I think. I'm surprised he hasn't just started trying to set the uh, stack the spikes yet. At some point, if I can, I might just take my uh, my specs back from the gabite if I pull off that maneuver. I'm tempted to go Porygon and click foul play, which I'm going to do because Ms. Reavers cannot touch Porygon. Okay, I got burned. Actually, that means I can't get toxic. That is actually good. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually good. Uh, his toxic community is Roselia. Which I don't think is... Actually, he could very well go Roselia. I'll follow him. Right, he has Taunt, of course, on Miss Reavers. That was, should have been obvious. Wow. Wow, that did nothing, holy shit. Um, I could have gone Rotom on that Taunt. Oh well. Just follow play again. He goes into this. This is a free switch into my uh, Rotom. Now, 100% free. He'll probably set rocks, but this gives me a blizzard. He's locked into toxic. Why would you toxic there? I mean, I'm cool with it because he literally can't stay in, so I got a good volt switch. He goes ground pick. Doing damage to this is awesome. I'll take that gladly. Um, I'm gonna go Gorgeist. He has leftovers. Okay, he's not Colbert. Okay, okay. I'm gonna leech it now. Oh, fucking taunt. I hate taunt Grumpik. It's actually really annoying for this team. I don't think he can sweep here because I've got uh, U-turn and I've got... Uh... Oh my god, that did so much. I don't need this Pokemon though, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I just sack this. It's, it, that's not a problem. I just go Pissimian. Uh, Pissimian should kill, right? Grumpig, assuming he's offensive, which I think he is. If you turn, yeah, I definitely kill. <laughs> not even a not a chance. If this dies, my blizzards are gonna be so free. As he goes Gabite, okay. This is also a free blizzard though. Like he he's letting me get so many opportunities to get in with his Rotom and fire off some fire off a hit. The Gabite dies, okay. That's cool. So now he goes into what? He gets no rocks this game either. That's useful. Both his potential rock shadows are dead. He goes for Zelia. I'm like a blizzard again. I do not care. I want to break things. He synthesis. Okay. He's trying to stall me out. Which sucks, but this is going to give me an opportunity to start setting up with Muck. 
and I miss. Oh, that's not good. That's that miss actually saying sucks. I'm gonna go back now though and start setting up curses. I guess I'm pretty sure Roselia isn't gonna be able to touch me. There goes Mr. Reeves. Now he can obviously just taunt me, not a problem, with that with no repercussions. But I'm gonna poison jab because that's all. That's an obvious taunt. Please poison, no poison. I just poison jab again. Oh yes, pain split on this. Poison, come on, nope. You will always. I have rest though, so that should be fine. Can I get a poison? Thank you. Okay, that poison is important. Now he definitely has to taunt me, because, but I'm gonna try to rest. Okay, he does taunt me. Either way though, he's in a poison jab range, I think. Okay, he, he pain splits again, like. His misery is really annoying now. Well. Hmm. If he's pain splitting. Can't really go into anything. He shadow balls, that's not gonna kill me now. It's not gonna kill me. Any day. Miss Reavis dies. Now oh, yeah, Pasimian is going to clean up this game at this point. Because like Grumpy is gonna kill me here, and then I click U-turn with Pasimian and uh yeah, I slowly kill his team. Pasimian basically at this point. Do I even do I kill with close combat? I do kill with close combat at this point, most likely. Do I kill with Earthquake at this point? I kill with Earthquake. That's really good. What about Roselia? Probably not. Uh, I don't do much damage to Roselia, sadly. That one miss really screwed me over. Probably going to be U-turn into... Porygon, I guess? Roselia doesn't have that many synthesis, though, and I don't think... Like... I, I have natural cure now, so I can remove my uh, burn soon. He toxic spikes, like that's fine. I'm just gonna do that. He toxic spikes again. Okay, I'm gonna try attack. I need I need some status hacks here, I think. He sludge wants me. As long as I'm burned to this, that's fine. I get a freeze. Okay, that is probably that's definitely the best status I could have gotten. Uh, I need one more before I can win with Pessimian. Oh, he switches out, of course. Okay. Fuck! If I switch out now, my natural cure activates. I don't like that. The morning suns. I recover. I'm gonna try attack again. As he. In front of ooh, that does a lot. Doesn't kill me though. I get a para. Oh, that's bad. I keep getting the good, stand the best statuses I can dream of. Um, I have to figure out how I play this well though, because Pasimian does no damage to Roselia at all, assuming he's ever light. That is. I guess he probably can't do much to me either. I have to EQ here for the most damage possible. Um, yeah. Oh wow, that killed. He's not okay. GG. I didn't think EQ was gonna kill. Anyway, that's it for this game. That was really close. I liked it. That was fun. He says he had a bad matchup. I disagree because I generally just struggle with like Miss Reavis stuff. I don't. Okay, he says Psyme is stupid too. Uh, that's fine. I um, must disagree myself, but okay. That's uh, whatever. That doesn't matter. This was a really fun game. Uh, got to play around with Porygon's Trace against the Rapidash, of course, and Pasimian really came th coming through. Specs wrote on Frost, putting in a lot of work. Really, really fun game. I liked it. Thanks, Rebel. Thanks, iRebel, for the game. Who's uh, iRebel is also one of the council members of ZU. So, really, shout out to him for this game. Appreciate it, man. And I'm gonna go into the next one, and I'll see you guys there. And here we are. We are facing Hound, who is. Um one of PU's moderators, I believe. He is. He plays some Zetu, not a shit ton, 
but he still plays it uh, about as much as I, I think, as, as I do, I think. And he has a team of Throw, Grumpig, Stunfisk, Articuno, Roselia, and Luminion. We have faced each other already with these two teams before. Uh, I won that one from some good predictions with Rotom Frost. As you can see, his team is quite vulnerable to Rotom Frost. And I think uh, my lead is going to be Rotom Frost, honestly. He leads Luminion. Now, last time we did this, I clicked Blizzard, turn one. And I dented his Roselia really badly, basically invalidated it. This time I'm playing the Volt Switch. He goes throw this time. And so I get a Specs Volt Switch off. That is a lot. That's good. Very good. Um, honestly, now I can go into Print Plot and set up Rocks. Uh, or I can go Gorgas and Lead Sheet. <laughs> he figured it out. He figured it out. It's Specs Rotom. Alright, I'm gonna Lead Sheet, I think. He goes for that. Uh, that's not that bad, I guess. Um, I'm gonna burn him so that I'm gonna force him to rest earlier. He knocks off. This is gonna do actually zero. Uh, I think I'll go muck now. He rests. That's fine because my muck wins this 1v1. Especially because he's knock off. Uh, so I get now two free turns to do whatever I want. I think I'm just gonna poison jab though. Actually, he's probably going grump pick here. And I'll just poison jab, see if we can get a poison on his grump pick here. That would, that, would, that would be cool. I do get a poison. That's really, really good, actually. His grump pick is no recovery, especially because he also doesn't slow leftovers, show leftovers. So now I think I go into print club and set up rocks. As he taunts. Okay, that's fine. I could have killed his Grumpick there. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I want to predict a Roselia switch in. I don't I don't think he lose, can lose... Ah, actually, he can't he can lose Grumpick here. I'm not going to overpredict. He just goes... He goes Roselia. Okay, that's fine. I'm going Muck here. He does have a Steel type, which is good. Because that means Muck can potentially win. Uh, I'm gonna curse up here. He goes to Stunfisk. Okay. I don't think I can win the game yet, but I can do some work. That does zero. Okay, now it's gonna do more than zero because he got a uh, Spidef drop, but still. Should be able to take two more. I can't take two more. Great. That's just perfect. Okay, I get a lucky poison. Like, I can't complain. I got uh, two poisons already, both of which were pretty important. I'll just go Rotom here. He's forced to Earth Power again. Now this is a play and a half, which I have to make. However, his... Um, I can also just trick. The only thing on his team that doesn't mind taking a trick is that Articuno. Which isn't switching in here. See, I'll, I'll take the Grumpix item, which I've, whatever it is. He, I get a Colberberry. Okay, that's fine. Now I switch out. Uh, as my specs is now officially gone. <laughs> um, I can try to set up rocks here. I think I want to set up rocks. Because that forces him to defog at some point, which is important. He goes for Zelia. I just want to rock rocks here. If I lose print plop over it, it's fine. It's important to get out of rocks because it either cripples the Articuno really badly or uh, forces him to defog. One of the two. I'm gonna scald. Doesn't kill, that's fine. He sets up rocks himself. He still has to defog at some point. Like, he cannot leave rocks up with it. It, it completely removes his Articuno from play. And besides, I can actually. I'll just defog myself here. Fuck it, that's fine. As he discharges. And I get up my own rocks again now. Here are my rocks. Back up. Nice. And now we go Rotom. And click Blizzard. I see Giga Drains. It's fine. Actually, I can trick here again. No, I have. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll trick. Take this thing's FU Light. Make it a lot frailer. And the Colberberry is obviously useless on it because it's not. Uh, things, it, it, things aren't super effective. 
as I do a shit ton of Blizzard. Okay, let me calc if I kill at this point. Onto Roselia. Few spikes with no Ephulite. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to, but I kill with uh, this. Nice. That's a Volt Switch resistance gone at least, and Stunfisk is also really heavily weakened, so soon I can just start for us Volt Switching with this Rodan. As he goes to the throw, um, I'm tricking him. Uh, I'm tricking his leftovers away real quick because I want as, as many Pokemon on this team to refuse items as possible. I'll Volt Switch now into Muck and rest up on this throw. Um, because I can freely, basically freely do that. Only He only barely doesn't die here with his Stunfisk. Like, he's gonna have one more turn left. Which, basically... I'm going into Rotom here. Free switch into Rotom is really good. As he forfeits. Yeah, I mean, at this point... His last way of switching into Volt switch is gone. I could just full switch all over his team, basically. This Rotom devastated him completely. I had ways of dealing with everything. Um, so, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed a uh, another Zetu video. I really, really hope more, I get more people to play this, this, this tier, because I, it's a ton of fun. Um, Specs Rotom Frost isn't the standard thing, and really, especially this game, it came through really, really heavily. Um... As you, as Hound also uh, noted in his commentary, it's really fun to play these people. It, it, these are like people that I talk to a lot, of course, on a daily basis, as opposed to just random people on the ladder, so that's cool. I really enjoy making these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them too. And, uh, and with that, I'm gonna put an end to this video though. ZU is done for now. I do not currently have anything randomized uh, for ZU, so I do not know when we'll be returning. Next video, we will be going to Ubers to play around with Palkia. And we will be, of course, having a discussion since it's a new tier for this series. And I hope you all look forward to that. It's, I've already had the discussion. It was a ton of fun. Really nice one. And you all will see, and you will see who, did, who exactly it is with in that video. For now, I'm out. Peace.